Recently, I've been going over material that I was familiar with in the past, and this is one of the things, because I remember really being moved by M. Scott Peck's sort of scientific analysis of the nature of evil. And that's what this book is. He's a psychologist, a psychiatrist, and he was trying at the time when he wrote this book to get evil classified as a form of mental illness. Obviously, he did not succeed in doing so. And in my personal opinion, I believe that he was unsuccessful for two reasons. One is if you mention the word evil to secular people, they reject it because it's too religious. It's too woo-woo for them. It's too old-fashioned. You know, it's, it's anti-progressive. It's anti-technical. If you mention evil, it conjures God and faith and virtue, and they hate that. The second reason I think Scott Peck was unsuccessful in his bid to have evil classified as a mental illness is that, I know this is a little controversial, but I think that the current paradigm that we're living in today was brought about by people who themselves are either sociopathic, psychopathic, or evil, and they didn't want even define this sort of mental illness. They don't want science to have any part of that. Because if you've noticed, the scientific community in the last however many decades has, has striven to strip religion from the world. Like you can't be a faithful person and also a scientist. They've tried to drive this wedge as if the two things cannot exist in the same world I fundamentally disagree with that. I think science is glorious, and I do not think that any part of it contradicts faith in God. Myself. I don't see any any clash, but they do. And so we ha we're playing in their playing field right now. And that's why I have to frame this in terms of psychology and psychiatry, because that's acceptable to the scientific, secular, rationalist, materialist, reductionist worldview. And the scientific, rationalist, reductionist, materialist worldview people are who I am trying to reach. Because the controversial thing that's happening right now, in my opinion, is that people who think they are doing good are actually doing evil. They are doing this thing, this virtue signaling thing, where it's a performative act to be good rather than actually being good. And in my personal opinion, science is responsible. Technocracy is responsible for this. They have subdivided, categorized, compartmentalized, people's minds to the point where they are able to do evil, <clears throat> pardon me, in the name of good. 